Shaders for Minecraft 1.19. How do you download them? How do you install them? And how do you get shaders up and running in Minecraft using Optifine? In this video, we're going to go over every single step of downloading shaders, installing Optifine, and then getting shaders active in Optifine for Minecraft 1.19. It's all covered in this video. Now, the very first thing you need to do to get shaders is, well, download a shaders pack. Shaders packs are basically the different kind of shaders that you can add to Minecraft. Think of it like texture packs, but for adding shading and, you know, like realism and better trees like wavy trees and grass and all that stuff into game. So you can find the link in the description down below. It's the second link down below, and it's going to take you here. This is our list of 10 shaders packs for Minecraft. And to there's all kinds here. You've got things like Continuum shaders, and you've got things like, you know, BSL shaders and Ultra Fast shaders, which is going to be great for high FPS, right? So is Vanilla Plus shaders, the very good high FPS shader, right? So in this video, we're going to download Makeup Ultra Fast shaders. Just click the download button and it will open in a new tab. And then we're also going to go ahead and grab Continuum. Continuum is, in my opinion, one of the best shaders packs out there, so we're going to grab that as well. Now, for Continuum, it takes you to our website where there's an in-depth dedicated tutorial for this shaders pack. Once you just click the yellow download Continuum button to be taken to Continuum's website. On this site here, you want to go ahead and scroll down to where you can have the Continuum previous releases. We're going to be downloading the 2.0 version here, so just click Continuum Downloads. Takes you here where you can download Continuum 2.0.4, right like so. As you can see, downloads in the bottom left. Now, for Makeup Ultra Fast Shaders, this is hosted on CurseForge. More and more Shaders packs are being hosted on CurseForge. And once you're here, come over here to the right hand side and scroll down to the Minecraft 1.19 section. Under that, you have Makeup Ultra Fast and click the download button to the right of that for the download to begin. While that's downloading, how about us from our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. All of our Minecraft servers are hosted on Apex. We use them every single day, and truly Apex is incredible with 24-hour, seven days a week support, over 100 one-click mod packs that you can install, as well as easy plug-in support, and amazing high-quality hardware. You can check Apex again at the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, you've got your shaders packs downloaded, as you can see in the bottom left, and now we need to download Optifine. Optifine is required for Minecraft shaders in 1.19. It's basically what links the shaders packs to Minecraft and kind of allows them to work. So nevertheless, you can find this link in the description down below. It's going to be the third link down there. And this is our in-depth guide on how to download and install Optifine. Literally over 2,000 words on everything you need to know about Optifine from troubleshooting issues to including how to install shaders, right? Like even installing shaders packs is listed here. However, once you're here, what you want to do is scroll down and click the yellow download Optifine button. Then let's take you to Optifine's official download page. Now at the time I'm recording this, Minecraft 1.19 Optifine is in preview. However, if it's not in preview and you just have a version here, you want to click on the mirror link on that version. Otherwise, click on preview versions under 119. Then you want to download the one that has the highest number. So as you can see, pre-2 or 1, you want to get pre-2. That's the highest number. Now, if it's pre-4, pre-5, that's okay too. You want to get the one with the highest number. It could also be H9 here instead of H7. That's perfectly fine as well. The higher the numbers, the better. Nevertheless, we want to come over here and now click mirror on this. And when we do that, it will take us to the 119 Optifine Preview Download, where you just click on the blue download button. After a few seconds in the bottom line, Optifine will begin downloading. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. It really just does depend. Keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome. Save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to move these files to our desktop. This isn't necessarily required, but it makes things so much easier. Where are they? Well, they're in our downloads folder. Let's go ahead and click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. We have this downloads file folder here. Open this up and in here we have Optifine and then we have both of our shaders packs. Drag these to our desktop, right like so. Now to start off, we're gonna install Optifine. Now your Optifine file may not look like mine, but let's try to open it nevertheless. To do that, right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java here, what you need to do is go to the description down below and download Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Optifine, like shaders in 1.19. So come here, download Java 17, in-depth guide, goes over everything, even it goes over issues you may have 
right down here. So go through that article. Once you've got that, you should be able to open up Optifine. However, in some cases, you'll need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. And after you run the jar fix, that'll also fix any icon issues. Like for example, if this icon right here doesn't look like mine, running the jar fix after you get Java 17 will fix that. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up Optifine. To do this, we want to right click on Optifine, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. That will then open up the Optifine installer here, where, as you can see, it's Optifine for 119. Awesome stuff. You want to go ahead and just click Install on this page. And when you do that, Optifine will begin installing, and boom, Optifine is successfully installed. There's no progress bar or anything like that. It just takes it a few seconds, and boom, it's installed. Now, should you have any issues installing Optifine here, it's probably a, one of two things. One, Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher is open. If that's the case, close out of both of those, and then open Optifine installer back up, and click the Install button. However, if that's not the case for you, you may just need to go play play Minecraft 1.19 literally just go into Minecraft, launch 1.19 to the main menu, and then close out of it. Come back and then reinstall Optifine. You'll be good to go. Nevertheless, we can go ahead and click OK here. Optifine's installed. It's now time to go ahead and get Optifine open in Minecraft because that's the next step of installing shaders. To do this, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. And once we're in the Minecraft launcher, you'll probably have an Optifine profile. Now, if you do, that's great. It's super simple. Just make sure it's selected here. Click this little arrow next to the basically play button, select Optifine, click play, and click play again. But if you don't have an Optifine profile here, or it doesn't say 1.19-Optifine under this, what you want to do is come here to the top and click installations. Once you've clicked installations, it will take you here, where you want to make sure modded is selected. As you can see, we deselect modded, it disappears, check modded, and there it is, right? So boom, there is Optifine. In that case, you can click play and click play again. But if you still don't have this, or it's the wrong version of Optifine, click new installation. I'm going to name this Optifine 1.19, and then we're going to click the version drop drop-down box. And then in this version drop-down box, we want to select Optifine. So right here it is, release 1.19-Optifine. And again, we want to make sure it is the highest number if we have multiple versions, which I do. We want the one pre-2 because that number is higher. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and change our resolution as well. You don't have to do that, but I'm just doing it so you can see for the video once we get in game. The most important part of this is in this version drop-down, you have 119-Optifine selected. Click Create, and then now we have this Optifine 119 version. Click Play on this, click Play again, and now Optifine is going to open up. That's honestly the hardest part of getting shaders, is getting Optifine open. It's going to blow your mind how easy it is from this point forward to get your shaders packs installed. So now just sit back, relax, and we'll see you once we're on the Minecraft main menu. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu, and it's time to install shaders. To do that, click on Options, Video Settings, Shaders. If I like that was a little fast, let me do it one more time. From the main menu, click Options video settings, shaders. Then once you're on the shaders menu here, click shaders folder in the bottom left. That's then gonna open up the shaders packs folder right like so. Finally, to install shaders packs, just drag and drop them into this shaders packs folder. It's that easy to do that. Once we come back to Minecraft by closing out of shaders packs, there they are. Now, to select a shaders pack, just click on it. So as you can see, we click on Make Up Ultra Fast and it reloads Minecraft. One thing I also want to mention here is on the right-hand side, we do have all these shaders options, right? That's great. You can go through, you can change different things. And sometimes if you have some bugs or issues with shaders, you can actually change these options here to fix them. Specifically, you have these shaders options in the bottom right as well. And these are going to change between every single pack. As you can see, waving plants and things like that can be turned on and off. You can change the profile that you're on, right? Go through all of those and set whatever profile that you want. As you can see, Makeup Ultra Fast has tons of them, but this is different than, let's say if we switched over to Continuum and click Done there, come back, we'll be able to see that Continuum has a completely different layout here. So it really does depend on the pack that you are trying. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. And once we are in game, we will be able to see, look at that. Continuum, or not Continuum, Makeup Ultra Fast selected. Now there is some uh, issues with water here and things like that. That's to be expected. Optifine is still in beta, as is Shaders, so keep that in mind that if you have any issues, it's probably because Optifine is still very much so in beta. For example, I actually know Continuum has a very, very, very big bugs in this same thing. Where this water is messed up, it has bugs as well, right? However, if we go ahead and like fly out here, it looks a lot better whenever there's nothing blocking the water, right? So that's as simple as that. Um, as you can see, the reflection and everything looks good as well as right there, even the lighthouse looks good. If we switch over to options, video settings, and shaders, you can actually switch your shaders back in game. If we go over to Continuum, like I said, it does have a few bugs, but looks pretty good out here, looking good. 
but any stuff that's blocked like by the boat, for example, just doesn't look great yet. But that's just due to Optifine being in beta, as well as Continuum being very early on as well with 119. So it's kind of the downsides of using 119 shaders uh, right when they come out, <laughs> doing these videos as soon as shaders comes out. But overall, looking good. We've got ourselves the wavy water. And I think if we uh, find some plants as well, we'll probably have some wavy plants. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Enjoy your shaders in Minecraft 1.19. That's how you can install them. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. See you in the next video. Look at those wavy plants. Awesome stuff. Peace.